Hi gamers, I'm Cyrus Settler and today we're playing Station Years Escaping Mars scenario. So today we are continuing with our scenario Try to escape Mars. Uh, or last episode we finished this um, airlock here. And today um, we are going to work with a furnace because we need some steel and for that purpose I will create the I will um, yeah manufacture or print in our machine the the furnace uh, not this one but the outlay so right now my room is not pressurized so we can go in directly and we need the furnace so the furnace is different from the arc furnace uh, in the sense that uh, the arc furnace uh, works with electricity and the furnace works with uh, fuel so it doesn't need electricity to work and it can reach like um yeah you can control the the reach different temperatures you can control the temperature and the pressure to create uh different um alloys okay we are missing something ah yes we're missing some copper so let's take some copper from the other room from the other machine I should say so let's take some copper here I I, I think I will just divide this copper um, Can I just divide the copper? It doesn't seem to let me. Because what I want to do is to have copper on both machines. Okay, I cannot divide it for some reason. So let's put that there. I think ingots cannot be divided, perhaps. Uh, okay, so let's create that. So it, it takes some time. And what we're going to do is that we are going to... Um, to, to build... We also need uh, some pumps to keep the pressure um, on or some pressure regulators and also we will need uh, later on we will need um, a filter filtering system uh, to get water also out of the furnace that would what that would be done with ice because we will need water for the for the potatoes to grow and the thing now is um, we will need the furnace to um, to have steel and also to have electrum because we need uh, the organic printer to print the potatoes that we are going to um, we're going to grow so it's um, a chain of uh, things we need I will purge it because I need the copper. Let's take the copper. Okay, we have our furnace and we can proceed to the other. So let's turn this off. Uh, also, we will need some steel sheets now. I remember. Let's do that right away because here we don't have. Um, we 
we don't have enough iron sheets because this uh, furnace requires some iron sheets so where are my iron sheets here this is the only so let's let's make some iron sheets so uh, we will need some four or five let's make five that's it all six now let's turn it off and let's install the furnace So I plan this spot for the furnace. It has uh, the furnace has an uh, exhaust uh, pipe and an input pipe, so you can pressurize it. And the thing is that we will need uh, to to regulate the pressure so we, we need to keep the pressure on so the, the 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 furnace the way it works is that you put fuel in it basically some oxidizer and volatiles they will react in the in the furnace so the temperature will increase as well as the pressure and we need to keep that pressure and in order to keep that pressure on we will need um, we will need a pressure regulator so let's go on and we need some copper here we need where is it the valve here pressure regulator we need one of those and you will see why okay we cannot make more of it but i think that's enough let's play this here um okay what's up with the power now I'm low on power. Yeah, that's what it seems. So let's recharge. Ah, but also I need some pipes. I had pipes here, right? I had some pipes. Well, not much, but I think this is enough for now. Um yeah i will make a corner there we need to make a corner back here i think it's better from below so this is at the output pipe right and we need it uh, we need a, a corner right and basically if we could have What would be the better, the best? Should we just have another pipe here, probably? I don't know. So we need that there. And now, this is the output pipe. And in the output pipe, what did I do with? Did I leave my pressure regulator somewhere? Ah, I left it in the other room, right? And I'm a little bit distracted here. Okay, so that was not the idea. Okay, but I think we don't need all these things opened. We need a. There are two type of um, pressure regulators: the pressure, the regular pressure regulator, and the back pressure regulator. And we need the the back pressure regulator because 
it will how do you turn this ah, there. yes it will be like that so we need the back pressure regulator because we want to regulate what's coming out and we are going to regulate it to um, 1050 kilopascals I got stuck there and the reason why we wanted to 1050 kilopascal is that this is the the pressure for the to, for steel steel and also the the electrum that we will need so what would, do we need a corner right so i will create a corner something like that so it doesn't get out in the way and um let's see if i can do it from here it seems not oops okay it didn't work like that i will have to do it from the other side so does it let me oh no that connection there is difficult okay we'll have to perhaps i will have to um momentarily have some structure in place I can take it away if I don't need it anymore it's a bit hard to work like that okay so the idea is to there we go and then I guess we will need yet another or do we need just a straight one? I think it's a straight and then and then the and then again uh, yeah a corner and then we can just have a straight cable there Oh, what happened here? Let me keep. Okay. There we go. So this um, pressure regulator is the only, let's say, electric component that we need for the for the furnace so it's not um, you don't need it to uh, like to operate it at all but um, we, we we need it because we need to keep the pressure we need to keep the pressure of the of the furnace okay so we have our furnace set up um, I guess now we can try well not now because now is daytime so we will need um, to wait until nighttime again because we need to to work with um, oxidizer and volatiles and 
they come in the form of ice and if uh, I, I start manipulating these things in, in uh, daytime they will just melt so this is um, the furnace you needed to 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 work with it only at night okay so what else do we need we need um, I think I will create another pipe two more pipes at least that's enough we can just plug in another pipe there so and here we will have um, the idea is to have a, a system to take the exhaust from the from the from the furnace and process it or store it I, I should say to, to store it to store this um, what's coming out from the from the pipe and this is um, that what we need is uh, this atmospheric atmospheric kit and we need more iron for that okay we don't have any more iron um so how much how much do we need this is uh, the question now how much for the for the electrum we need um a part of silver and a part of uh, gold so i have um I have three silver here, but also fifty silver here, and what else do we have? Okay, and I think the the gold I have it in the in the belt, so we we could have fifty silver and fifty gold and for the um, for steel let's look at steel for steel we need um, we need three iron and one coal three iron and one coal so what uh, how much coal do I have I have uh, 100 coal here so we could have for example we could have 90 iron and 30 let's do that okay there we have 90 iron there so and then we need uh, let's put it here for now to have it prepared and um, coal we will need to split it half we need 30 of that there we have 30 coal right there so let's take our coal and so we don't get confused with that because there's so much stuff here so let's put aside what we are going to process in the okay so we have like this iron 90 iron and uh, 30 coal 
Okay, and it's and it's becoming night time, so I think this is a good time to um, to start working with um, or st uh, the furnace. So what we need to do, we need um, okay, uh, yes, two parts of volatiles and one oxide. Okay, now we need a pump because uh, in order to, to have the, the pump, uh, uh, the pressure regulator work, we need to pump out the excess of uh, pressure in the furnace. So we need to, for that we need a pump. Let's... Uh, make the pump let's connect it there we go and now we need to make the electric connections the necessary electric connections Okay, so that's, we need another corner here, there, and now we should have a three-way corner, let's uh, cut this and have a three-way corner. There, and uh, straight connection here. There we go, and we can, oh, I fell, we can finish that off with a, with a pipe, so let's get pipe, okay, and we are going to, To have as much there, <clears throat> we're going to pump as much volume as the pump can handle because we will have a lot of pressure, and the problem is that the electrum is um, a low pressure, a low pressure. Um, alloy okay and it turns out that in mars no matter if it's day or night time the the ice will melt so i have to just um, handle this i have to let it melt until i i think it's the the right amount so that's eight more or less and for that we need um, four let's process this first and there we go so this will um, increase temperature let's make first the, the steel We can make first the steel because steel um, uh, can be made uh, with um, 
high pressure so you, there you see that it will produce 120 grams of steel there we go that's our steel and here we need to wait until the the pressure drops to uh, 2.4 megapascals so hopefully this will be um, achieved we can make more steel though we can have 60 we need 20 um, 20 coal for that So how much is it now? There we go, more steel. It seems that we we are not going to be able to make the electrum because of the um, because of the pressure. It's too much pressure, and it's not going down far uh, fast enough. So uh, in that case, what we we need to do is to wait until the 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 furnace is cold again, and uh, yeah, probably we have to manage uh, less um, less less fuel. This time it was eight four, uh, I think. So probably we we have to start with less. Uh, Less fuel. 3.8. I don't think we will going to make it. It has to be 2.4 mega mega uh, pascals, and it um, the temperature should be below um, 700 K, so 700 kelvins. And now it's uh, 730, and still more than three megapascals no this won't work i think even though the pump is um, at full strength it cannot go beyond So, um, yeah. Now there, you see? Oh, <laughs> we missed the mark. So, we cannot make um, now the, the electrum that we will need. But at least we got some steel. And that's good because a lot of steel, I would say. 80 and 120 and we will need that for other things okay but um i will leave it here so i hope you enjoyed the video if so um leave a like and next time we will uh, be doing um the fabricator we will need uh, to make the fabricator and the fa with the fabricator we will make the organic printer with the organic printer we will make potatoes and uh, and then um, further on probably in a, in a in another video we will be making um, the the hydroponics also we need water so this we will use the furnace for that as well so hope to see you in the next video this is Cyber Settler signing off.